So here with me, I have some pronouns. And they're in the way that we already learned them. So I have Amariya and I are walking to the park. We know that I is usually used as the subject. And I have a dog barked at me. And we know that me is used after the verb. The verb here is barked, right? An action that can be done. And then we have me. But what's different about this is that there are more than one persons here. I have Amariah and I, and I have me and Amariah. So I'm not just talking about myself. I'm talking about more than one person, but I am still included in it. Amariah and I is still talking about me. So as long as you are still a part of it, yourself is still a part of it, then we have pronouns that we use. And these pronouns are called plural first person pronouns. So they are called plural first person pronoun. And that's because they're still talking about the first person, but they're talking about more than one person, right? So plural first person pronouns. Takes me a little while to write that. Pronouns and O U N S. Okay, good. So it's called plural first person pronouns because it's still talking about the first person, which includes yourself, the person that's talking, the person that's writing, but there's also another person along with you. So for me to change this into the first person, to a first person pronoun without saying Amariah and I, I will use the pronoun we. So I could say we are walking to the park. And I know that that includes myself and another person or more than one other person, right? So we are walking to the park. And then I have a dog barked at me and Amaraya. It's still including myself, but I'm also talking about the person with me, right? So a dog barked at me and Amaraya. So I will not say a dog barked at we. That's not correct. I would then use the pronoun us. A dog barked at us. So, when we're using we and us, we is usually used in the subject part of the sentence. And us is usually used as an object. It comes after the action being done. Us is usually the receiver of an action. So, the dog was barking at us. So, us usually comes after the action. So, let's look at a few more examples here. We live in a dog house. Woof, woof. The we comes as the subject. The dog is marking at us. Us comes after and is used as an object and it comes after the verb. The verb here is barking. It's the action that's being done, right? So we and us are the plural form of I and me. So when should we use us versus we? Well, let's look at a few more examples here. We use we in the subject. We use us in the object. Let's look at some examples. So Jen and I were hiking today. Instead, we will say we went hiking today. Mike and I are riding our bikes. Instead, we will say we are riding our bikes. Dad and I will go camping tomorrow. We will go camping tomorrow. Let's look at some examples of us. Mother baked a cake for John and me. Mother baked a cake for us because it comes after the action, right? He taught my classmates and me. So we will say he taught us. Taught is the past tense. Taught is one way of saying teach, right? It's the past tense of teach. And then we have one more example here. The dog is chasing Gary and me. The dog is chasing us. Again, after the action verb, chasing. 
So on the next slide, click on the picture and go ahead and do a little mini, a little mini activity to see if you are using me and us in the right way.